Rachel, again, Rachel, oh my goodness. This is gonna be a fun one to edit. So quick question, is 25 minutes into an audiobook too soon to be totally obsessed and predict a five-star read? Because that's kind of where I am right now. But these are like little metal book darts. I already just dropped one somewhere. And a woman just ran by me and probably thinks I'm nuts, but whatever, I'm used to it, so. Hi everybody, it's Audrey and welcome back to Chapter and Converse. But we've switched up a bit and do a catch up, starting it on my afternoon walk. It's Friday, it's 5.15ish or so. And as you can see, I'm out and about. It is crazy warm. I definitely overestimated what I needed to wear. It was like so cold yesterday, super raw. So anyway, um, I just thought I would take you guys, I don't know, a vlog, a catch up or something and chat about what's been going on. So I literally just finished listening to Rachel's Holiday by Marion Keys. You guys, this book, I'll talk about it more. I haven't read this book in like 20 years. It came out in 19, it, well, it's the 25th anniversary now. So math, 1997. <laughs> So I wanted to reread it before watching Rachel, or before listening, before reading Rachel, again Rachel, oh my goodness. This is gonna be a fun one to edit. Uh, before reading again Rachel. It's across the road, hold please. Okay, I'm back, sorry. <laughs> Head across the street and try not to get it in my traffic. Um, I wanted to reread re it before reading again Rachel. So I did, and I loved it so much. I remembered the core story but this hit me on so many levels. And I would read the book for sure, but there's a 25th anniversary audiobook read by Marion Keys. And you wanna talk about reading a book the way it's meant to be? She's brilliant on all fronts. I have seen her in person back in the day and she would do readings and you wanna talk about like getting the inflection in the story. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So I just finished that, I'm listening to some music, I'm walking. I'm walking into some people, so everyone and their dog, literally, is out right now. So I will be checking in throughout my walk and let you guys know what's up. to be a challenging day because I keep crossing paths with people and whatever whatever I know I shouldn't care but I have a hard time doing this when there's a bunch of people walking around especially when there's people behind me so anyway I feel like I sound like I'm out of breath and I probably am a little bit but I'm also excited to be talking so you guys I am like 60% of the way into my arc from Neck Alley, over the house by the lake, the house across the lake, the house across the lake by Riley Sager. I should know it, not stumble upon it. If you guys have been here for a hot minute, you know I am a die-hard Riley Sager fan. And last Friday when I got the email that I came out of Neck Alley Purgatory and got approved for the ARC, I legit screamed. Best news all year. I needed that last week. I needed that last Friday. I've talked about this a few times. It's been a day, it's been a week, it's been a month, it's been a year. It's a lot of ups and downs. So I feel like the universe threw me a bone and I will tell you nothing about the plot other than its rear window of the lake because that's what he calls it and I'm loving it. So I will give you guys more info. I don't want to like give anything away because that's my, ugh, that drives me bananas when people give stuff away. But I will say it is, sorry, looking for cars. He's doing the thing. He's subverting my expectations. He's playing into tropes. He's doing everything I love. So, I'm so happy. So after I finish that, I'm gonna read again, Rachel. So I'm on the bit of hunt for a new audiobook, and I might actually read Ashley Winstead's Fool Me Once. I just picked that up. So that's her newest book that came out. It's kind of like rom-com, 
but maybe with an edge, I'm gonna guess, just because it's Ashley Winstead, but her murdery cult book, Last Housewife, comes out in August. Also thirsty for that, so we'll see what happens. Okay, scene number three. <laughs> I had to wait till I'm back on a sidewalk, which I'm actually gonna cut off over half a second because these people don't trim their hedges and you have to walk into their hedges to walk on the sidewalk. So anyway, I've also been low-key obsessing, of course. So I did like this BritBox subscription through Amazon and I haven't been watching it. So I was like, I just need to cancel it. So it cancels at the end of the month. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, there's so much stuff to watch. So. I don't know if you guys are like the Christie Vance, but they did a new version of Why Didn't They Ask Evans. It's a three-part miniseries. It is excellent. It's so good. I'm going to rewatch it. And I'm probably going to re-up my subscription <laughs> next Friday. <laughs> we'll see. But I watched a not great, but sentimentally great rendition of The Mirror Cracked last night with Angela Lansbury's Miss Marple. It's from 1980. Elizabeth Taylor's in it. It's very over the top. Rock Hudson, Kim Novak, Tony Curtis. It's kind of extra. Not in the best way. But tonight I'm gonna watch Sparkling Cyanide, which I saw, I wanna say a version from the 80s of that and I loved it. This one I wanna say is born 2003. So I'm excited for that. But they have all the David Suchet Poirot's and all the Miss Marple series and then the new Death on the Nile is on Hulu. I don't know why I'm in like a hyper Agatha Christie kick but I just love her to pieces and I love quality TV and I'm still watching this sus. I'm completely up to date. Tears were shed this week. I think there's five episodes left. I don't know what I'm going to do without it. Now that I'm back into it and I'm completely obsessed. I mean, I guess I could just watch it again from the beginning, but you know, you know. All right. We're in the home stretch of the walk. So I told you, Rachel's Holiday, House Across Lake, Agatha Christie. This is us. I feel like those are my big things. It's Friday. It's stunning outside. And I have nowhere to be. I have plenty to do, but all on my own schedule this weekend. And it's the first time in three weeks that's happened. So maybe that's why I feel like doubly liberated because I can do whatever I feel like. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. So on that note, I'm gonna focus on the rest of the walk. I'm gonna keep jamming to some music. I have the most random music <laughs> on shuffle. We just went from Harry Styles to Shania Twain to Angels and Airwaves, to Pink and Eminem, singing Revenge. And a woman just ran by me and probably thinks I'm nuts, but whatever, I'm used to it. So, all right, until next time. Happy Saturday. It feels like deja vu, but I swear it's Saturday morning. <laughs> We're doing different than yesterday. But it is not the most beautiful morning, but that's okay. It's just like super cloudy with threats of rain coming. But I decided to come out, get her done, enjoy some air while I can. Um, and it was a great way to procrastinate from doing all my cleaning and decluttering and chores and everything else on my list. So I did make a massive brain dump list last night of like all the things I would like to get done this weekend, even down to like minutia kind of things, like change the sheets, like things you just do. But anyway, I was just trying to get it all out of my head. So I watched Sparkling Cyanide last night. Meh. I feel like it just wasn't the best. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. So. It was just fine. 
but I did. I did read a little bit more. Nothing crazy, just a nice quiet night, which was basically exactly what I wanted. And then I read some more this morning, Riley Sager, the risk of stating the obvious, but once more, <laughs> once more for the cheap seats in the back. I love Riley Sager. I love what he does. I love his books. I am hoping to finish it. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it today. I'll definitely finish it before the weekend's out. And then I legit just started listening to Ashley Winstead's Fool Me Once. I have the audiobook. I think I mentioned that yesterday. So this is her new book that just came out. And it's like rom-com. I'm like only on the first chapter. There is a line that I'm guessing is like on page one of the book. Laugh out loud. Rewound it, listen to it again. Rewound it, listen to it again. Just so funny. So it's definitely gonna be kind of like, I think like wicked humor, but I'm loving it so far. And I already am like, I need the physical copy. Like the audiobook, because I'm back into audiobooks is a great idea, but we'll see. I mean, I'm gonna give it a couple chapters, but already I'm planning to buy it, so. All right, I'm gonna get on with the walk, but I just wanted to say hello and I'll be back with more. So quick question, is 25 minutes into an audiobook too soon to be totally obsessed and predict a five star read? Because that's kind of where I am right now. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Sunday. I am clearly, or maybe not clearly, but I hopefully clearly am filming some videos today. I don't normally put this kind of effort in if I'm just hanging around the house on Sunday. But anyway, I wanted to just check back in with you guys, let you know what's going on. Yesterday, I wound up reading some more, listening to some more Fool Me Once by Ashley Winstead. I wound up doing some decluttering. It's just like everything just sort of like took off and it was, and then like there was the night kind of a thing. But anyway, I have maybe 30 pages left in The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I could have sat and kept reading it, but I'm like definitely trying to stay on point today and get some stuff done. I particularly needed to film and I'm in the middle of filming. So I'm saving it for when I eat lunch and I'm gonna finish it and I will reserve all comments. But I definitely said this to my friends and I don't know if I said it to you guys, but it, it's, it's up there. It's up there with Final Girls, which is a bold statement for me and a bold statement it's not gonna unseat Final Girls, I don't think. I don't think anything will ever unseat Final Girls, but it's up there. And then Fool Me Once by Ashley Winstead. So I am like 30% of the way into it. And did I get on Amazon yesterday and buy the book? Yeah, I a thousand percent was going to go to my bookstore and buy it in person yesterday, but they don't have it in stock, so but with the power of Amazon, it's supposed to arrive today, which is insanity completely, but I'm here for it. And also I posted about how I was reading it and like completely obsessed with it. And Ashley Winstead wrote me back and like, she was just like, uh, oh, day made. And I wrote back and I was like, mine too. I feel like I will never get over the fact that all of this and bookstagram and I don't do Twitter, but like allows you to have conversations with authors that you love and with other book lovers. And I had posted something on my Instagram the other day that Greer Hendricks had posted on hers about her appreciation for bookstagram and the community and book bloggers and just how it's opened up conversation and it's helped to elevate other authors and how bookstagrammers and everyone like, and books, yeah, bookstagrammers and like booktubers and everyone, how they shine lights on different authors and how it's just created such community. And I feel that between all of us being able to connect with each other, but also having that kind of access to these authors that you love. And I just think it's like the coolest thing ever. And I posted about the family upstairs too, and Lisa Jewell commented on that. And I just, every time an author, even if they just like heart one of mine, because like I tag them and stuff because I wanna be able to like push it out there, I just like die a little on the inside because I get so excited about it. But anyway, so Fool Me Once should be coming today. So now I can, 
I'm gonna continue to listen to it because I'm loving the audio of it, but I wanna be able to annotate it as I go along. And I'm not, I don't have, I mentioned this yesterday, I feel like, so I'm not doing all, I did buy book darts too, but I feel like I wanna save the book darts, this sounds so silly, for like a special book, but I don't know that a book is special until I'm into it. But these are like little metal book darts. I already just dropped one somewhere. Guys, I'm such a mess today, who's surprised? But I also wound up getting these colored tabs and I'm not annotating it because like the colors mean something. I'm actually, I'm about to film like the first half of my April wrap up. So this is 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard. So I'm trying to pick a tab color that matches the book. So the book is hot pink and then the tabs are hot pink. But rather than dog ear, which I'm not against, I'm not like completely not dog earing anymore. I will always be a dog ear. <laughs> this was a reread for me, but I like dog eared it even more. I feel like this one will make some people really lose their mind. Let me find it so I can. I have, over time, I've read this book, this is a writing book, multiple times. So I've underlined it in multiple colors depending on when I read it and I write in it. So I'm sure that is making some people roll over and completely lose their mind. So anyway, I wanna tab up, fool me once when it comes. So that's happening today. And then I'm gonna try and keep decluttering because I hit some good stride yesterday. I'm in that phase where in a former life and in a former job and in a former world when I would go to work. I worked at, I've worked at like multiple places in terms of wardrobe and my job before this job was much more corporate. I was in a much more corporate facing position and very out in front and it was, you know, I mean, it was like heels and suits and dress coats and like, I loved all that stuff, but like, that's just not my reality anymore. So I had a very tough look at my shoes yesterday. <laughs> and I just pulled out everything and it's just, I, I, I don't know if I'll ever wear heels again. I've stopped wearing heels for a while. For one, I'm like 5'9 and, and a little. So heels make me giant, which I used to hate and then I completely embraced. And now I don't not wear heels because of the height part of it, but I don't wear heels because my knees don't love me anymore for it and I feel like my feet don't love me anymore for it and comfort is king right now or queen as the case may be so I have so many not even so many but I had a bunch of beautiful shoes and I made the choice to just like let them go I don't wear them anymore they're taking a valuable space in my closet just we're, we're letting them go and then I have started to let go of like some of those work clothes and I just have a hard time with some of it because some of it's perfectly fine and I'm just like I was talking to my mom about it and I was like it feels like you're saying goodbye to a life and like an old life and a life that was and it's just a very weird like mourning period for for what was and and like what my job used to be and and kind of what life used to be I don't know but I was having not like I wasn't like crying about it but I was having just sort of like an emotional reaction to everything yesterday, but I felt like I was in a good zone and I made some good choices. So I would like to kind of stay on that track. Um, I did a ton of laundry yesterday. So I've got some of that to deal with today and it's already Sunday and you're planning for the week ahead and I do need to hit the supermarket. I could get away with not going today and just going tomorrow night, but we'll see kind of how the day pans out. And then I'm like looking out the window. It's got that cloudy, eh, look to it as long as it doesn't rain i can go for a walk but i think i'm gonna wait till like after lunch and all that kind of stuff so anyway and i need to like edit this so i can have it up on tuesday but all that to say i don't know how many times i've said that phrase i just wanted to check in and let you guys know what's going on i will give you some final thoughts on riley sager after i finish it but i just wanted to say in my world good morning and i will see you guys with an update later Hey guys, so we're gonna end this vlog right where we started it, outside taking a walk. It's, I think like 4.30 or something, and I had a perfect filming day. It takes up so much time, so I didn't quite get all the other stuff I wanted to get done, done at this stage of the game, but I finished The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. 
I'm sitting with my feelings. I try not to make knee jerk reviews anymore, but it does not unseat Final Girls, but it still feels five stars to me. So Final Girls to me is like five star plus. Home Before Dark is five stars. So it's like they're touching. And I feel like House Across the Lake is also five stars and it touches, <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> it touches Home Before Dark on a horizontal level and then they're both just like right underneath Final Girls, if that makes any sense. So we'll see. I mean, I will um, sit and process, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And I hesitate to say a thing because I don't want to say a thing, but I love how he plays with the tropes and I love how he plays with his readers. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to say another thing. So all that to say, which is a phrase, honestly, I really need to get rid of because I've noticed I say it more and more and I don't know why, but it was great. I highly recommend it. There you have it. So I'm going to keep on walking, still debating the supermarket, see how I feel. And yeah, we'll see where the rest of the night takes me. So thank you guys for hanging out for a couple of days. Not the most exciting weekend in the life, but again, thought I would just check in, catch up, all that stuff. I'm also listening to Fool Me Once by Ashley Winstead and still loving it. And my Amazon package has been delivered. So I got that notification, so it'll be there when I get home. But I'm gonna go because people are coming at me from both angles and it starts to look weird, so, okay. Okay, so on that note, you guys, I am gonna go. Thanks for hanging out. I hope everyone is doing well and appreciate as always you guys spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.